This is Imani with Build Brothers here at 12903 Pimpernel Way, uh, starting my digital inspection um, underneath the eaves. Um, so taking a look at this wood, um, this house was built in 1986 and um, this is all original wood and this is the original roof and there are telltale signs to this because there is no drip edge or bird stop. Um, but you can see just the amount of uh, termite damage um, that has occurred uh, all over the fascia um, around the entire perimeter of the house. And uh, this is consistent um, around the back as well. Um, but just to conserve some time, um, I'm gonna hop up here. So what we're looking at is a concrete S tile roof. Um, and then again, you can see just how severe that termite damage is on the fascia. Um, and you can see a little bit of a glimpse of that felt paper underneath. Um, it's really just turning into dust. So moving on here, a lot of slip tiles, a couple cracked ones as well. Um, and the homeowner has actually reported a couple leaks and has went up here and did a couple repairs himself put some uh, foil up here uh, along the ridge the ridge caps so the mortar just over time you can see um, how a repair has been done in the past with some tar and that is beginning to crack um, and this is just due to old age um, and then another repair over here just to mitigate some of that water from coming in and uh, the homeowner has done that on uh, each of these little uh, ridge caps um, on the corner here and then you can see around the vents uh, he put some plastic around there again all attempts to mitigate some of that water from coming through here um, but you can see there are multiple exposed areas um, where this water has, you know, every opportunity to get underneath here. Um, and you can see here, just more exposed areas uh, going straight down to the felt paper. Um, and again, there's nothing holding this in. And just over time, the, the nails on each of these that hold them together um, begin to rust and they break. Um, so that's what causes these tiles to slip. Um, but you can see down in that felt paper that is just completely um, stained from the water. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move that back. Um, you can see an old dormer vet here. And something interesting I, I thought, uh, you can see how all these ridge caps are lined up. Um, but we have one in the middle and you lift this up, this goes straight down to the wood. Um, so that is completely exposed from, uh, or exposed to the water. Um, and anytime the rain goes, that goes straight under down to the wood. Um, I'll make my way over here. We always like to check the chimneys because chimneys are sensitive areas for um, water to get into. Um, you can see, whoa, almost slipped. Uh, you can see, you know, this uh, has been flashed properly. You see step flashing and counter flashing, um, but the stucco around the chimney is starting to crack. Um, and that's just a sign of old age. And there's a portion over here where you can really get a good look at the felt paper, just how um, degraded it is. Uh, over towards the front on the garage. So you can see underneath here, just how brittle the material is. Um, and it's just crumbling in my fingertips. Um, so these are all uh, signs that this roof is past its life expectancy. And um, there's multiple portions where uh, the roof is starting to fail. Um, I mean, it is built in 1980, it is the original roof. So it's definitely time to update um, the paper underneath. Um, so what I would recommend is a full lift and reset um, and put a synthetic titanium UDL uh, underlayment. And um, yeah, I will get this out to the homeowner. Thank you.